Hello, I am Dr. Deepti and we have been discussing and solving questions from mathematics. Mathematical methods in physics also forms a part of it. Now, we are dealing with the main topic linear algebra under which we are looking at vector spaces. Let us try to solve a question on vector spaces. Let there be a set S, which is basically a set of two by two matrices defined over the field of real numbers. Now, all of us are aware that a matrix is defined in terms of M by N order, where M is number of rows, N is number of columns. So here it's a two by two matrix. And also, we know that if there is a vector space, if it has to be defined on a certain field. So here, the field is real numbers. Now, there are some additional conditions. Scalar multiplication has regular meaning, but the meaning of vector addition is different. It is defined to be matrix multiplication. That means if U and V belong to the set S. And if K is a scalar which belongs to real field. Then scalar multiplication is straightforward. When you multiply U with the scalar K, it gives you K. But when you add two vectors, vector addition, it is defined to be matrix multiplication. That means if you add the matrices U plus V, it is defined to be the multiplication of the matrices U and V. That is how it is defined. All of us are, are aware that if such conditions were not imposed, that is, if, that is if S was just a set of two by two matrices, it would have been a vector space over the field of real numbers. But here it's a special condition. Now there are several axioms. We know that we try to verify the 10 axioms to show whether it is really a vector space. Now here we will concentrate only on one of the axioms which fails. So we know that there is an axiom of commutativity of addition. That means if U and V belong to the given set, u plus v has to be equal to v plus u. That shows that they are commutative. But now we also know that matrix multiplication is not necessarily commutative. And here addition of two vectors is defined in terms of matrix multiplication. Let me show you an example. Let U be the matrix 1, 2, 3, 4. Now here you can see it is indeed a 2 by 2 matrix, 2 rows, 2 columns. Let us take another matrix, 5, 6, 7, 8. Again, 2 rows, 2 columns, so it's also 2 by 2 matrix. Now, in the first situation, U plus V, it will be defined as matrix, matrix multiplication U into V. So let us find out the product. You can try to find it out on your own. You will realize that the product comes out to be this matrix 19, 22, 43, 50. And then if you try to find out the product V into U, which is nothing but in this particular example, addition of V plus U, the product comes out to be 23, 34, 31. 46. So as you can clearly see here, u into v is not equal to v into u or by using the definition due to the condition imposed in the question, u plus v is not equal to v plus u. It is not commutative. That means this axiom fails. So this particular set S is not a vector space. 
so let me repeat the set s of 2 by 2 matrices defined over the field of real numbers with regular scalar multiplication and vector addition defined to be matrix multiplication is not a vector space thank you